Let's have a look who, who is starting for the Chicago Wolves tonight in our Starters and Scratches presented by Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. Move better, live better. Visit IBJI.com. Sergey Andronov on the left side. I thought he played very well last night. Tyler Shattuck also on the right. Christian Hansen in the middle on defense. Brent Regner and Taylor Chorney. Jake Allen, of course, the nod in net. Scratches tonight. Henrik Odegaard, Doug Janik, Yanni Hockenbaugh, David Shields, Brett Ponich, Derek Desmond, Eric Castingay, Eric Catalyst, Jake Chelios, and Alexander Boldu. Our All-State goaltender matchup. All-State, Chicago's own good hands, identical to last night. Jake Allen picking up the win, stopping 26. Andre Makarov goes for Rochester. He's top 35 in his postseason debut in the American Hockey League. An overtime loss as John Anderson picked up the win back behind the bench. 64 victories for John Anderson behind the bench in AHL postseason action. Two new referees, JT Luxmore and Chris Shimaga. Puck drop, we're underway. The captain, Shorty, will send it ahead. Over the head of Andronov, all the way down. Icing signal, and it will be called against the Wolves. Two goals are weird. <laughs> they really are. Rim towards the point. And now it's Yaskin sending it to Selleck. Selleck, a wrister just wide. Trying to keep it in. And Ragnar races for a hit but holds his own. Now it's long play switching. Forehand, and they score. Off the traffic in front, Nathan Long play. You don't know how important that is because of the start in this game. And you know what? Jake Allen was tremendous as expected. Some glorious opportunities. I think tentative at times the Wolves have been in their own zone. They have not made strong plays, but they've started to take over again. A little bit better flavor here in the latter portion of this first. Regner, what a hit, and he, I thought, was solid last night. Didn't play a lot, but remember in the last month. Keeps the play alive, that little wrister with some traffic through. Not sure what it hit, but it changed direction. And <laughs> Nathan Lombre, he's waving to all his fans from Peterborough over here. What is he doing getting an even strength goal? <laughs> he was... Glad that the AHL has shared the lead with six shorthanded points. Nathan Lancre is first to the postseason for two shorties for Chicago during the regular season and six goals overall. Not by Canoni, right to Crawford. Collected now and Schaller stumbles into the wall zone. Centering pass, unable to connect for Hutchings, a tough angle. Now Rochester threatening again up top. No Jay Ladeau, got it into the slot, a pull, and the same rebound, Gillen scores! No fall, a bouncing puck, it's just uh, never settled and it never went in favor of the Wolves. Harper had a pretty good block, right in the back side, but after that block, it went in favor of the Amherst. They got the puck to the net. A little bit of a battle left of Jake Allen. This shot here gets blocked, sent back towards the net. And Joe Corver in the middle and tried to force on one side. Puck was squirted over through the top of the crease to the other, and it ended up being an empty net. Bolton Gillies tying the game with his first of the postseason, had nine during the regular season, and it's a 1 1 tie. Wolves go to work. A shot just missing. Here comes Hansen heading in. At a trailer, but it's taken away. Petrecki will use the glass to clear towards the goal score for Rochester. Gillies dumping it in. There's Gucci, Leduc, and Alex Hutchings assisting on the Rochester goal. It tied here in the second. Hanging on it was Andrano stays in now. Shallow going to work. Jarred by Edmondson. Puck three to pass in the play. Last miss, Ristolin gives Rochester the lead. That's a beautiful play. That was Ruiz, my bad. It's a beautiful play, and why it happens is a little frustration. I mentioned this in the first period. Joel Edmondson gets hit, and I think he thinks that there should be a penalty, and he goes back at the play itself. Now here, this should be out. It's a poor pass by Andronov. There's the hit. He's not very happy with that. You can see him. Now he's going to go in and take a body. Two guys on one. Ends up being an odd man situation. Ruido founds the hole. A perfect feed it is. And that shows you what you cannot do. That's frustration. Stay within the game. Chad Ruido 
His third point of this series. And a shot is grabbed and hanging on, is it? Makarov. 2-1 Rochester halfway through the hockey game. Sits it across the ring. Gloria wrists it back door for Tarnett. Fails to click. And a corner, corner care for the Wolves. I thought they tried that uh, quite a bit in game one. Just missing on the side. Just uh, identical to that. Minute to go in the man advantage as the Amherst reset a wrister. Oh, and it stretches out. They score the rebound. Look at him. Second of the series. Very simple, little wrister from the blue line, and I, I'm going to say I think Edmondson gets a piece of this and tips it down low, which gives uh, Jake Allen some fits. He can't quite find it. And Luke Adam, big power forward, big goal scorer, in front of the net, good hands. There's a redirect that squirts through, and uh, Allen trying to move across. Lots of net up top shelf, something I've been trying to talk a little bit more of for the Wolves. We've got a goal extended, get it up top shelf. That's a huge goal on the power play for two goal lead. Luke Adams second in the regular season in the AHL with 16 power play goals. Both his goals here in the postseason have been on the man advantage. And another 3-1 lead for Rochester. Delore just misses. A broken stick and a chance for Harper. Centers. And he missed Canuni. Miss Delaney playing without his stick. As Kandari up top for Corvo. Walks wide. Fires. A huge block there. As Fiona affects Gillies, he gave his stick back to the defenseman. Gillies makes his way to the bench. Now back across to Kadari, cuts him, a stop, rebound, knocked away from Mike Davies. Nice score there. That's a great opportunity. Delore carries in, and Allen forced to make the stop. Delore, some shells from Kadari. They separate. All about sacrifice, Colt Gillies, two mm. points and a huge block. So, Andre Makarov will be called upon most likely here. 20 stops on the night. Wolves have Yaskin, Ratty, a coin, Corvo, and Kadari out there for this man advantage. Their second five on three of the night. Corvo controls as the Wolves set up. Really set up the last man advantage. The defense should never touch the puck in a five on three. See how the Wolves work here. Corvo to a coin. Pretty stationary so far. A coin carries to Yaskin. Yaskin off the backboards. Corvo one timer out of front. Ready to try. The presence around the net, the difference there. I mean, obviously it's five on three, you outman them, but just stay around the net. You hang around the net, and eventually that puck is gonna bounce for you. And I could see what the play was to develop. It didn't quite happen, but Ratty with a shot, a save, Yaskin with a poke, and it jumps across, and a coin he gets a stick in the chops as he hangs in there and gets it to the back of the net. Here's the shot by Ratty, Yaskin across, and there's a stick coming up on uh, Keith Coin. He's okay and he scores the goal and still a minute 36 on the second power play. Good point by you. They quickly work the five on three. Scoring in 24 seconds. Keith the Coin, his fifth career postseason power play goal in the American Hockey League. Maybe Half seven, a second. eight seconds. That's all. They, that's going to be difficult here. You get a really almost fired on net. So do you need a left-handed centerman here? I would think so. We got Dimitri Yaskin on the dot. Well, the Yaskin will try and shoot, and Verone will play street hockey and try and stop it. All he has to do is fall. It doesn't matter now. You get a penalty for it, but it doesn't really even matter. He falls down. Oh! He's getting free. A backhand by Kanani. Stopped by Makarov. And Rochester takes it 3-2 to, to tie the series at one aside.